So it's late and my hair is looking kind of weird because I just washed it and straightened it last night. But we are going to bed early. It's about 9.15 in the evening. I have to work in Florence tomorrow. So I'm going to get up around 7 o'clock and pick Ava up. And that's my mom talking to me. But I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Ooh, excuse me. So, everyone, today's adventure is taking us to Florence. So, I'm going to go work down there. And I feel like a freelance retailer because I feel like I'm working in every possible location that I can work in. So, we're on our way to Florence today. Ava was coming, but now she's not. So, it's just going to be me, my mom, and the boys. And I've never really... I don't think I've ever been in Florence, so this should be interesting. I'm not going to film the trip there. I didn't film doing my makeup because y'all have seen me put on my makeup a million times. So today I just didn't feel like going through the trouble. So yeah, we're on our way to Florence today. So I made it here. I thought it was going to be like inside of a store, but it turns out it's in a kiosk. So I just ran to the bathroom really quickly and now I'm going to get there and get to work. So we made it back home. There was really nothing to vlog about because I was mostly working. So finished working, now I'm back home and the kitties are still here. They're in the living room watching TV. I'm about to take a nap because I realized that I don't do so well being up in the morning. So I'm going to go to bed take a little mini nap and then we'll see where I go from there. Hi guys! So it is officially Vlogtober month. The first of October is today and hi. we're just... Caleb says hi. I don't really know where we're going. I just jumped in the car straight after work. So if it's anything interesting, I will include you guys. If not, we'll just go from here. Alright, we're off. <laughs> guys it's October 2nd and it's actually like 10 something in the morning I don't know exactly what time it is let's see it's oh it's 10 46 in the morning and we are on our way to pick Ava up from work by we I mean my mom and my nephew and my little cousin so we're gonna go get Ava from work but you cannot start a day without a nice cup of coffee so we got the curate going because I need some coffee in my life. I'm being the car these children. And <laughs> it's probably not going to go over very well with me. So, yeah. We're going to go pick up Ava. And then I have to go to work around like 4 o'clock. Which is kind of late for me. It's from 4 to 9. And I have schoolwork due. And no, I didn't start on it yet. But if I feel like it, I might end up doing it before it's time for me to go to work. If not, I might just end up doing it at work. But, yeah. So... This is pretty much the start of our day. It's like 65 degrees outside. I love it. It's supposed to rain too. This is hurricane season. I can't remember the name of the hurricane that's coming. It's like Wahim or something. Something crazy. But um, yeah, so it's really cold outside and it's supposed to be raining and just not looking forward to it. children screaming it's just my nephew and my little cousin but I'm gonna go ahead and do my school work so that I don't have to worry about it when I get off and yeah it's really cold outside which I enjoy but I'm probably gonna clean up my room because it's looking a bit disorganized at the moment see that's laundry that I have yet to put in my closet and slash like winter clothes that I need to organize y'all quit fighting yeah, so it's pretty much going to be the consistency of my afternoon. It's about 1.13 right now, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on my schoolwork and clean up my room.
so we are in a state of emergency in South Carolina. What's the name of the hurricane? Uh, it was Wahim. Hurricane Wahim just went up the coast and now all of South Carolina is flooded. We're in the Midlands too, so we don't do rain very well. Let's just show you guys what we have going on right here. This is Two Notch Road down the street from our house, our apartment. And that whole section right there is completely flooded. All of that. And I don't know why these onlookers are up here. I guess we're technically onlookers too. But we're trying to find us something to eat. Yeah, but really, we're, we're, we're scavenging. <laughs> what is it? We're, we're uh, scav foraging for food. Yeah. We are but scavenging. This is Two Notch Road as we speak. Did someone call them rescue help? I would assume that they did. They were hotty. Oh my gosh, wow. They're hotty. Yeah, fire truck is over there. Okay. Wow. So, that's the current situation right now. Jeez. All that's flooded. parking lot in the back see look at the DMV yeah. oh that's flooded what yeah oh the whole parking lot in the back is flooded I know they're gonna have water damage on the inside of that place that's crazy. so we're currently stuck in the house because there's been a curfew yeah, yeah. a 6 p.m. curfew you have to be in your house from 6 p.m. until 6 a.m. They released the dam, and so you're pretty much just sitting duck in your house or apartment. So we decided to just make hot chocolate for everybody. That's mine, Ava's, and my mine, Mari's, and my mom's. And then this is Ava's. Standard Swiss Smiths. I don't know what it's called. So we're having hot chocolate probably gonna watch a movie i have a paper that i should be writing but i can't because this is just all so exciting not really it's kind of low-key scary but it's pretty much how we're going to spend our afternoon today why are you getting her more whipped cream she just had some she wanted more she said i can't work with you that's what she said i'm just doing so day two of the flooding that's the last possibly there's nothing inside of Walmart. If I could show you guys everything, I would. There is no meat. There is no toilet paper. Tell my mom we shouldn't be out there, but she wanted to come to Walmart anyways. So we are on day three. Day three of the aftermath. Well, actually, technically, it would be day two of the aftermath of the flood. And as you can see, the sun is shining, or maybe you can't see, but... I can see which is why I'm wearing shades but the sun is shining and it's like nothing ever happened and it's really creepy I just got off of work yes they made me go back into work so um whoops so we're back to normal as normal can be there are a lot of roads that are still closed um a lot of houses that have been really really flooded but for the most part our area is pretty clear and yeah if I can get some shots of um the streets as they are now i'll put them in the vlog but pretty much it's stopped raining so we're back to being sunny south carolina only there's a big aftermath of disaster that took place so we're trying to recover from that as a city and as a state because not just columbia was hit orangeburg was hit charleston still gets rain is still getting rain and florence is getting rain too